Up next on the Young Escape Podcast. Rajat, I don't know if you've finished all of your projects yet, right? Or if you've completed all the music, but I am always open for a feature. Like like if, yeah. if you wanna if you need a fellow rapper on your stuff, you know? If you just need well, somebody to spit some rhymes out. Don't let him pressure you. Don't let I, pressure well, you. this is the thing. This is the thing. I love people who can freestyle. And I heard you freestyle on a podcast not too long ago. <laughs> That's true. I did. I certainly did. <laughs> you you did. And I thought, I was like, okay. You thought All it was right good? There, Chaz. I, was just, you know, I, thought, I thought it was pretty good. It was pretty impressive. You know, I was just spitting stuff out. I thought it was kind of dumb. Just, just putting stuff out of there. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, I mean, you know, the same thing for McKenna too, you know, like, do you guys ever need any rap features ever? Oh, like, right. I'm, well, I'm always free. <laughs> yeah. I'll say it like my, like my, uh, my youngest son says, uh, <laughs> <laughs> to the Young Escape Podcast. I am your host, Chaz. And today, McKenna and I had an awesome chat with our very good friend, Rajan Monroe, a talented DJ at one of our favorite radio stations, Pulse 101.7. He is also an amazing hip-hop artist. We talked about what he's been up to during this quarantine, which also talked about how we all met on Halloween in costume. That's right. <laughs> also, at the very end of the podcast, we have a little special surprise for you that Rajan and I cooked up. Let me tell you, it is worth it. So make sure you stick around for all that stuff. But first, a quick thanks to our sponsors, Nike, Adidas, Google, Gatorade, and Oreos. Thank you so much for supporting the podcast and doing what you do. And now, everybody sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Alrighty, Makana, you ready to do this thing? Dude, I'm ready. I'm excited, Makana. How about you introduce who we have today? Yes. Okay, so today, you guys, we have Rajan with us, and he is an amazing friend of ours. He's part of a radio station we love called Pulse 101.7 FM, which is how we met. And you can hear him on Pulse Mornings as well as the incredible Wednesday devotions that he leads at Pulse1017.com. But you think that's all, Chaz? Is there more? That's not all. Oh. Rajan is also an extremely talented rap artist who produces some sick beats. Oh He's my dropped goodness. some super cool music and was also just featured on a track called OMG. And the oh, music video was so Jen. cool. You got to check it out all on his Instagram and Spotify that we'll link down in the podcast description. Rajan, how you doing? Hey, all right, all right. I'm feeling good. Yes, we're so happy. I'm just going to give a round you. of applause, but kind of. Yes, yes, <laughs> Woo! applause. Chaz has been so excited for this one. We're so excited to have you, Rajan. Thanks for being is, here. I was gonna say, is Chaz never excited? That's true. He's always excited. I'm always I'm always excited. You know, I'm always upbeat. <laughs> He's especially excited for this one though. Oh, most definitely. Yes, most, most definitely. definitely. So, okay, Rajan, we got to talk about how we met. We met at Monster Burger on Halloween. Monster right? Burger. Monster oh, yeah. Burger. Oh, no, it's not even called Monster Burger. What is it called? It's, Are we just making that up? Yeah, but it makes sense. It's it it's actually sense. Zombie Burger. Zombie, zombie Burger. burger. <laughs> I knew, I knew People, McKenna wasn't getting I'm it right. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Googly Monster Don't Burger and Iowa. Don't you Monster like, Burger is a better name? Don't you guys it, think? Well, no. It probably is. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> there might be is. there might be some some like copyright with that though. There could, there could. Maybe we should open our own restaurant, Monster uh, Burger. Cool. That Monster could, Burger. That could be Ooh. a new chill thing that we could do. But anyway, we met on Halloween, which is kind of funny and crazy. <laughs> we went yeah. out to lunch because we were doing our own like little radio tour and we got to meet you and the amazing Pulse staff and it was so much fun and Chaz was there. Yeah, I was gonna say, I don't think a lot of the listeners know that Raj and I are best buddies, you know. Yeah, like yeah. We, I was there too. Yeah, you know, we had, we all dressed up. I was we all dressed up. I was dressed up as a penguin, of course. You know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I thought it was a polar bear. No, no, no. It was a penguin. 
It was a penguin? Yeah, I, it, it, I looked like a giant penguin just oh, walking okay, around. Okay. What, <laughs> is, what did I you guys dress up as? I need to work on my animals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, we were on the road, so I think that I just had some, like, mini mouse ears or something. I can't remember oh. what it was. It was something super chill. Yeah, yeah you just yeah, it was, out. Yeah. It was, it was chill, but it was like, I'm still cute. Like, it was... <laughs> yeah, right. You know, yeah. Like, right? right, super chill. There you go. Rajan, what yeah, were you I, dressed up as? I was dressed up as a radio host. <laughs> as a radio that's host. Right. I was like, a, that's why you were. Well, okay, Rajan, what was your first impression of our band in Chaz? Like, what were you thinking that day? I was wondering uh, if, like, Luke was going to lose his job as the drummer because yeah. of Chaz. You know? Right, yeah, I understand. Like, that yeah. energy, I just feel like, and I know Luke does an amazing an amazing job. Oh, right. You he's know? all right. I mean, he's all no, right. no, no. He, he's really you good. You know, especially with the standing up and drumming thing, like, oh, yeah. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. But, pretty crazy. Seeing, seeing what Chaz did to those those cups with the straws, I'm sorry. Oh, uh, you remember that? Yeah. It's just, I do. It was, it was amazing. You were, I yeah, was going yeah, it's for just, it. Simply amazing. I was going. I was going to town. Of course, I don't think I could I outdo didn't think, Mr. I think Jones. You but... might have needed a click. I don't think you were very. Um, no, no, I, you very consistent. I agree. You know, I agree. I, I'm not the best drama. I'm not the best precautionist. No, but wait. So wait, have you shown Rajan any of your recent projects that you've done? I actually, I have. I sent him one at 3 a.m. a couple nights ago. <laughs> you know, Chaz, I, what did I tell yeah, you? I know. Yeah, I, I, I always end up coming up with my best ideas around midnight to 3 a.m. Yeah. So I always send it off to anybody, you know, all my friends and everything. Oh. But yeah, yes. So Rajan has heard some of my stuff and... Chaz the rapper. He usually, yes, and he usually ignores my texts about the rap stuff. Oh. Well, that's well, probably... Well, when you're texting me at yeah. 3 a.m., it doesn't really go well. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's a good point. Yeah. That's a good point. I keep telling my wife, it's not, it's not, uh, what's the guy from State Farm? <laughs> it's not... <laughs> It's not Steve. It's, it's not Chaz. Steve. It's Chaz. It's that's right. <laughs> it's just like who is Chaz? Right. That's right. <laughs> maybe I should start calling people at normal times. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe at normal times uh. because we've ta- we've been over this, Chaz. Yeah. We've okay. We don't need to get into it. Okay. Let's move on. All right. <laughs> well, Rajan, what are you doing right now? Because we're we're in crazy times, obviously. What are you doing to stay creative in quarantine? Oh, it's it's been pretty amazing, actually. I have. Uh, been getting on TikTok. <laughs> yes. Oh yeah. <laughs> I know you've been on TikTok too. I oh, see. Oh yeah. You. We have to do it's a duet. Been... Yes, absolutely. That would be so what? much fun. I'm, I'm still, like, I'm not green to it, but like, there are still some things. What, what's the finger thing? The finger thing, Chaz. Do you know what that is? You know. I don't know what any of this is. What is this TikTok? You don't know what so TikTok, TikTok is, Chaz? TikTok is a, it's an app, Chaz. It's, it's dope. Like, young people have an it. An app? <laughs> yeah. Like an, it's like, like a, do you remember, do you remember Vine? Vine? Like a, like a, like a tree vine, like a cherry vine. No, like the app. Like, oh man. Apple. Well, Wait, Chaz, do you, you know, not have an iPhone? No, no, I have a, I have a flip phone. A flip phone? Yes, but a I'm not, phone. you know, I heard, I've heard of these apps uh, yeah, are you talking about apples? The store for Apple? Um, mm, I guess you could say I don't know if we're gonna. You know what? I'm, this. Yeah, I'm just I'm I'm not all caught <laughs> up yet. So yeah. you guys keep. Do you talking. have Snake on your phone? What? Do you have Snake on your phone? What is on that? your flip phone? <laughs> no, it's a game. I don't. Oh, oh man, my. yeah. You like games, Chaz? Maybe. Guys, can... I'm learning about so many new things right now. <laughs> snake. Wow. I gotta the go more that you up. know. Reading the Rainbow. You know. Wow. <laughs> well, speaking well, of yeah. TikTok, we yeah we have to do a dance. But I remember because you've interviewed us on Pulse One One Point Seven before, and there was a debate on who is a better dancer, me or yes. Luke. And so, oh, cool. but now that like, who do you guys think? Like, what are you guys thinking right now? Like, you think it's me or? Uh, do you I'll think let Rajan start. Okay. After actually seeing the the dancing, I would have to give it to. MJ. Whoa. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, listen, I, I, I got to give it to MJ I because um, I, didn't I think it's because you don't, I'm not seeing you dance as much. So it's like, you're True. not trying to steal the spotlight Yeah. because Luke thinks he's really good. Yeah, he does. So- <laughs> I think he's pretty, well, listen, I've seen him dance a lot, right? 
So right. I don't know what video guys video you guys saw because oh. maybe he just wasn't going all out, you know? No, I think he was. Maybe he has to have he a, was trying his very maybe best. he has to have a proper dance off. A proper dance off. To really see. A proper dance off. Right, well, yes. That might that I mean that would be a deciding factor. That's yeah. true. Okay, well we gotta get Luke and Rajan to do like a duet, like a dance duet. Like they can both learn a you know, have you seen those chads where it's like a mirrored I think I have, yeah. Two people dancing at once. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty crazy. Yes. Yeah, pretty crazy, right? Technology. Man, these days. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, move on, Makeda. Okay. Uh, Rajan, how did you get into Christian radio and as well as into making your own music? Like, that is like an amazing combo. Like, that's so rare and so yeah. cool. And I, yeah, you're just, you're perfect at anything you do. Oh. That's very nice of you to say. I know otherwise, but <laughs> I know I know for a fact like it's it's been a huge blessing um, to be able to have something that I'm passionate about, yeah, and something that I feel you know there's a little bit of talent there, and to be in a field that could you know kind of steward that and grow it, you know what I mean, where right. I can gain some more experience. Mm-hmm. Um, where it started for me, it's funny. My mom and my dad. Uh, in high school, they were a part of a program that taught them how to do a radio station. Like so, wow. like so, the radio station at uh, in our city in Des Moines, they have basically like classes where they teach everybody how to do it. And so, like my mom and my dad would tell me stories about how they would be playing songs during lunchtime for their friends and i was like that sounds cool mm-hmm. <laughs> you know like that just, absolutely it, just, it sounded really cool you know they're, they're telling me glory day stories and i'm like that's awesome you know and then when i go to high school they that same program was still around and so i signed up for it yeah. and i learned how to you know how to work um you know a computer with with software and how to record and all this all this stuff yeah. And, um, you know, my, my mom and my dad, it's funny, when they met, my mom had a guitar and uh, she would ride the bus and some guys were making fun of her. And my dad kind of stepped up to the guys and was like, hey, oh, there you leave go. her alone. <laughs> and so music has like, literally, I think I was made out of music. You know what I mean? Uh, like, I, yeah. like it, it's always been there. And so we always sing, we always would rap and stuff. And, uh, you know, so when I started learning how to you know actually put music from you know just like singing and rapping and stuff into digital through that program it, it was like a rap so like yeah. since since middle school high school i've been able to you know create and and make music in my bedroom and i had like a little group in in in, in school where we would sell cds out of our lockers it, it's just yes. it's just really cool and then you know i got connected with you know, other people who rap and do stuff locally. And uh, one of my friends, Will Tunick, he was actually working at the station at Pulse 101.7. And he was like, hey, man, we need, you know, somebody who can do production. You know, yeah. they just needed a production guy. And I was like, well, I I know how to do that, you know. And yeah. so it took like a year and a half <laughs> before they got back to me. Um, because like, you know, I went to college, but I didn't finish college. Mm. Uh, I was there for like, a se- like half a semester, like, you know, and I really messed that up bad. I had a full scholarship for acting and drama and, yeah. uh, I kind of blew it, but God really has a funny way of making things work out. The mm. same program that they use at Pulse 101.7 was the same program that I, uh, studied when I was at, uh, that high school. No way program yeah for real so it was it's like okay all right (laughs) so so yeah long story a little bit longer uh like that's that's how it is that's so crazy man that's so so, cool no and we love like no we we're like we love your music we love the things that you produce and the things that you create but we also we just love the connection we've we've been able to have with you through the pulse family and Because we honestly, we grew up on Christian radio. And so to have our singles being supported by stations like you that honestly, we probably wouldn't be a band without. It's just, Mm. it's been like that. Those are like the coolest friendships to us. Like we've just enjoyed getting to dig deeper into Christian radio and figuring out um, the, you know, more of the hearts 
of each station and the ministry behind each station and what they're all about. And we just, we're, we're huge fans of you guys. You guys are amazing. And we're just, we appreciate <laughs> you guys for supporting our music and for allowing us to be part of um, the way you guys are changing lives. And so that's been so cool. And I love that story. Even like how you said you had to wait like almost a year and a half. I was just yeah. talking with a friend the other day about like waiting on God and how I think that one of the coolest things about it is I think it's always worth every single minute. And I think that the only thing that could really be really disappointing is wishing you had waited on God because I think mm. that, yeah, like that whole year, like I, I feel like you look at like what happens in a year and how necessary each part and each step is in your journey. And I, I'm sure that year was probably like a really big year for you. Um, oh, it was, it was tremendous. Yeah. Um, because I was actually, uh, I was out of work. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I didn't have a job. Um, I had just left uh, a, a job that was paying me really well, actually. And I have my wife and my family. We had, I think, three kids at the time. Yeah. And, um, you know, it takes money to help provide for that. And my wife was like, are you sure you're supposed to not be working here? And I'm yeah. like, yeah. And she's like, okay. You know, and so it goes back to like, you know, the waiting on God and trusting him. And, uh, right. you know, I, I commend my wife so much for trusting God through me. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like just even that was a big testament of God being faithful, you know, not only in my life. Cause like, Oh, now I have my quote unquote dream job, you know, like I'm yeah. working at a radio station music every day. Like, wow. You know, who could imagine that? Um, but also my wife, you know, being able to still do what she loves, you know, because she's a stay at home mom, but like she went to work during the time that I didn't have a job. So like we both made some big steps, uh, of faith during that time. And, you know, it's just a big testament of God coming through, you know, being faithful to him. Uh, he keeps his promises and even the small ones, you know, yeah. <laughs> the small ones that were like, the uh, you know, the ones that we don't even ask him for specifically, but he knows our most inward parts, you know? <laughs> and yeah. so it's, it's amazing when, you know, little things pop up and you're like, wow, I love you guys. <laughs> you yeah. know, like, thanks. <laughs> no, so, I so, feel yeah. that a hundred percent. And I know that, well, like, you know, you're living the dream and we've got a lot of young listeners out there. And um, like, do you have any encouragement that you would like to give to them because I know that oh. there's a lot of people on that same journey. And I know that there's never like, we always look at, I think a lot of young people look at dreams as a destination that you're going to get to. And it's, mm-hmm. it's going to be hard until you get there, but it's really not. It's like, it's always a journey that God has you on yes. a heart journey. And like, just, you know, you're figuring out who you are, but what would be some advice that you would give to some young listeners out there who may be going I, through like a waiting period? Yeah. For what, what I would say is, uh, one, find out what your excuse is and stop using it. Mm. That has been a quote um, that I heard from uh, a rapper, a Christian rapper named Swoop. Um, awesome music. This guy, he, he said that at the end of one of his tracks. And it was like it wasn't even a part of the song, but he was just like, find out what your excuse is and stop using it. And I was just like, oh, wow. that hurt. Like, you know what I mean? Because... So many times we say, oh, I want to start a YouTube channel, but I don't have, you know, I don't have a black magic camera or I don't yeah. have a Canon or, you know, yeah. like it, I don't have one of these things or I don't have any lighting or whatever. And so we sit on it and we wait when actually there's something to be learned about doing it with what you have. Mm. You know, like uh, I'm reminded of David in the Bible and how. You know, he was he was a little guy, yeah. <laughs> uh, but God was training him when he was in the field, you know, mm-hmm. like when he was out working and doing stuff for for his dad, he was he had, he took on what what was it? A bear and a lion. Like, you know, he had the predators that were coming to attack the sheep that he was supposed to be in charge of. Who would have known that, you know, he was able to take down one mm-hmm. of the biggest, the big, big guy. He's like, well, it wasn't because of his strength. It wasn't because, oh, he's so good. It's because he learned how to trust God when he right. had even less, you know. And so, yeah, yeah, just just learn learning to not be afraid to step out and to use what you have. Mm-hmm. Um, 
another thing I would say, one of my favorite scriptures uh, is Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not to your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your path. Yeah. You, it just goes back to what we've been saying. Like, it's yeah, so clear. You, know, you gotta, you gotta not go off of your own understanding. Like he knows so much, but he has a better perspective, a better scope, a better view uh, than we do. And right. I feel like being a father, I've learned that because I see my kids and they have skills and talents. Like my oldest son, he is so smart. Like he is just a brainiac. Mm. He's seven years old, the smartest little dude I know, but it gets him in trouble sometimes <laughs> because he, he can kind of be a smart aleck yeah. because he's just, you know, he just catches <laughs> things. Right. That's like chat. It's, oh, it's like McKenna. <laughs> I was about to say McKenna. <laughs> <laughs> right? And like I have my, my, my second oldest, he's five mm. and he is like physically like amazing. Like dude has a six pack, like. What? And yeah, wow. and it's it's like, how did you get that? Like I remember I had that once upon a dream, <laughs> you know. <laughs> but but like you know, he's like he does cartwheels and push-ups and and you know round offs. Yeah. But he doesn't know when to do that sometimes. Like sometimes he'll do it, you know, on the coffee table. Like wait, no man, oh like what, no, oh, like boy. this that's not the right place to do it, you know. <laughs> and so you know we all have these strengths and these weaknesses. And I would say to people. Uh, to any young listener, any young person, anybody really, it doesn't even matter age, but um, if you have a dream or something that you're passionate about, you know, strive through those, those times when you had those weaknesses or, you know, because that can become a strength. You just need to work through that stuff, you know, and trust God because he has that better perspective where like how I'm a father to my kids. And I'm like, all right, this is, this is why you don't do this here. You're doing this correctly, but you know, Mm. How about we go outside, you know, on a trampoline, you know, or something yeah. like that. Right. Um, so, yeah. So just trust in God with with what he has already put inside you, because yeah. he's made you for a reason and a purpose. And he knows that. And it it's it's really a part of this journey. And this is the last thing I'll say about this. Um, this journey that we're on called life. L.I.F.E. is what I like to say. <laughs> um <laughs> It's it's amazing because I don't think we're ever really supposed to be satisfied off of what we necessarily do or accomplish. Right. I feel like the only thing that satisfies us is God. Mm. And so anything that we try to do, if we don't have that element or if we don't have that connection with I'm doing this because of what God has done for me. We're, there, there's no there's no way we'll be satisfied because there mm. are tons of people who have jobs and careers and they make a ton of money and they thought that that was going to make them happy but yet and still mm. we see otherwise from from on we have so many examples just in the news we have examples on what tmz <laughs> you, yeah. know, you know you can just see uh, there are people who you know are on instagram and they have all these followers like you know th- when you have followers so many and it has the k next to it and you're like all right awesome <laughs> but there there have been times where they still feel alone like that's that's weird right. you know what i mean and so i don't i don't feel like we're able to be satisfied outside of god outside of what christ has done for us and so we just have to keep that in in line and in in view with everything that we do yeah no yeah and being i I love that like it is it's a constant journey of growing closer to god i think i think you know so i think a lot of young people too struggle with anxiety over what they're going to do their career you know what god has for them they can't see too far into the future and so we tend to get scared but right. just just being actually anxious for God and to grow closer to Him because that mm. is the thing that satisfies and that is the thing that, um, yeah, that's like that's like why we live. So it's never a destination. It's it's a uh, it's a journey. It's a heart journey with God. I love that. Yeah. Rajan, you are just good, man. Absolutely oh, fantastic. Praise God. <laughs> praise God. Yes. Can I, you uh, want me to you want me to add to that real quick? Sure. You know, there's this there's this quote by Taylor Swift. And, uh, <laughs> Taylor, <laughs> you know, and, you and, love her, don't you? Oh, t- huge fan, huge fan. It's one of my hobbies. Oh, great. Uh, <laughs> so, listen, there's this quote, all right? All right. It's a full circle moment. Ready? 
Music is my shining light. My favorite thing in the world. To get me to stop doing it, even for one second, would be pretty difficult. <laughs> <laughs> so how does that have to, what does that have to do with anything you were just saying? Oh, I thought that like, just, you know, full circle moment. You know? Oh, okay. So you were just. Follow your dreams. You were just sharing that. Yeah, yeah. I'm just trying to just. So you were okay. the inspiration in love. Yeah. Did I yeah. ruin the moment? Did I ruin the vibe? You might have just ruined the entire podcast. I'm sorry. <laughs> I did not mean to. I'm so sorry. You know? It's okay. So, you always come in on the with, with the right timing. Right. It's, like, it's, exactly, it's exactly. You know. Uh, it's, it's a great quote. It is. Wrong yeah. timing, I guess. Maybe. Maybe you just have to practice your timing. Well. uh... Yeah, well, now I'm a little embarrassed here. No, it's okay, Chaz. It's okay. You're learning. Let's move on. You're learning. Let's move on. Let's move Uh. on. (laughs) Well, Rajan, (laughs) thank you so much for joining us on the podcast. And can you tell our listeners like where they can find you on Instagram and Spotify and what's next for you? Like what are you making more music right now? Let us know. Yeah, uh, I am making more music. I am getting ready to release a, an EP. Um, but I've got, I've got a, a track that I released back in September yeah. 2019 that was really cool, Blackout. Um, and then Ooh. I decided to make three more tracks that are like based off of that. And so it'll be wow. like a little four track EP. The next one that's coming out is called uh, Bombs Away. And so it's kind of keeping yeah. with that theme of like, oh, times are dark, man, because I was going through like depression and I mm-hmm. didn't know it. And so when I started to come out of it, I was like, oh, man this is crazy that I didn't even know. So I started to write out of that. Wow. And uh, it's, am- it's amazing how this was all before, you know, that Rona. Yeah. <laughs> and so like the lyrics and stuff tie in. So God's really just really cool how he, you know, uses creative people to, mm. to get good messages out there. But yeah, so that's, so Blackout is already out right now. Yes. Um, new song, Bombs Away, will be out Bombs very away. soon. And um, yeah, it's going to be really, really cool. So I'd love, yeah, if you have Spotify, Instagram, I'm on Twitter, but that's, Twitter is basically like my um, Phoenix Suns fan page. <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> I, I don't say anything on there Except like, you know, I I like follow the Phoenix Suns. Like I'm, I'm a huge Phoenix you. Suns fan. Oh my there gosh, go. it's ridiculous. Yeah, like the, I I don't think I have any quotes. There's nothing of any benefit to anyone unless they like the Phoenix Suns. That's amazing. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love that. But yeah, um, but yeah, all, everything uh, that you can find is all at Rajan Monroe. Uh, so that's R A to the cap J, A N. M O N R O E. So yeah, it sounds like how uh, Chaz likes to say Rajan. Yeah. <laughs> Rajan. <laughs> and we will link all of that in the podcast description. That's where you absolutely. can find that. Yes, absolutely. Yes, I have, we have a team that does that. We do. We do. Or is it just me? I don't oh, know. Probably, yeah. <laughs> okay, but listen, though, I want to say something real quick. Okay. Rajan, I don't know if you've finished all of your projects yet, right? Or if you've completed all the music, but I am always open for a feature. Like, like if, if you want to, if you need a fellow rapper on your stuff, you know, if you just need well, somebody to spit some rhymes out. Don't let him pressure you. Don't let I, him pressure well, you. this is the thing. This is the thing. I love people who can freestyle. And I heard you freestyle on a podcast not too long ago. <laughs> That's true. I did. I certainly did. <laughs> you, you did. And then I thought I was like, OK. You thought All it was right good? There, I, was just, you know, thought I, was, I thought it was pretty good. It was pretty impressive. You know. I was just spitting stuff out. I thought it was kind of dumb. Just, just putting stuff out of there. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, I mean, you know, the same thing for McKenna too, you know, like, do you guys ever need any rap features ever? Oh, like, right. We'll I'm, well, I'm always free. <laughs> yeah. I'll say it like my, like my, uh, my youngest son says, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, what? <laughs> <laughs> Does that mean no? It means what it means. Like he knows what it means. Not everybody understands oh, fully. You, don't need to understand. you guys are just trying you to. You don't need to truly understand it. It's it's a deeper it's a deeper thing. You yeah, know. Yeah. You you guys you guys are your little tricks. <laughs> I'm Chaz, just gonna... Chaz, we know. I mean, you try to push your agenda every podcast, with your whole rap thing. You want to get on everyone's tracks. I'm just trying to get my name out there, you know? Yeah. Chaz, okay. rapper. Yep. 
I'm trying to just we struggling know. artist. I'm trying we to get know. my name out there. You called Rajan like last night at three, telling him about this. Yeah, I know. I told you to stop yeah. calling people at three a.m. Well, you don't you don't control what I do, so that's true. So you can't tell me what to do, McKenna. Hmm. <laughs> like it all. Okay. Well. Oh, look what you made her do. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> well, that's all. Thank you so much for coming on the podcast. Yes. We had an absolute blast. It was fantastic. We love you, Rajan. And uh, everybody, go, ahead, go follow Rajan on Instagram and Spotify and MySpace and everything. And uh, wait, what is MySpace? <laughs> MySpace. MySpace is he, Chaz. We don't even know what TikTok is. You shouldn't even talk about this. What right is now. MySpace? My, it's I've just, just heard it's it. It's an old thing. You know, oh, okay, it whatever. Matter. I don't know. Yeah, who, who? Yeah, who cares? Uh, well, uh, what can you think? I should just close out with a freestyle. Yeah. Do you think you know, I just it. go for it? You know. <laughs> Unless. Well, oh, oh. what about that? What about that track you sent me at three a.m.? <laughs> oh wait, did you did you finish that? Is it finished? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we yeah. gotta play that then. So so can we play both of them, like the the unfinished one, and then you know what I what I added to it? Oh, uh, of course. Let's do it. Let's we pop can it. see like who's is better. Right, right, right. Well, let's let's bump the beat. <laughs> oh yeah, you already know. You already know what it is. Chaz the rapper spitting out the rhymes. Here we go. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. There ain't no playing around while I'm in the town. You know it's me, Chaz. Yeah, I never mess around. I got so many people trying to take me down, but you never will. The splash when I bump up the sound. Yeah, I know I should have never eaten that gallon of ice cream, but that's okay because I know. Next time I have a dream, I'ma make it real because here's the deal Tell the rapper don't negotiate because killing a daily is my secret trait Yeah, the world thinks true, baby, he says the rapper He's killing a daily, I'm the best Yeah, one thing's true, baby, he says the rapper He's killing a daily, I'm the daily While I'm in the town, you know what's me, Chaz Yeah, I never mess around I got so many people trying to take me down But you never will the splash when I bump up the sound Yeah, I know I should've never eaten that gallon of ice cream But that's okay, because I know next time I have a dream I'ma make it real, because here's the deal Tell the rapper, don't negotiate Because killing a daily is my secret type Yeah, the world thinks true, baby Cause the rapper, he's killing a daily I'm the best. Yeah, one thing's true, baby